Hi everyone, it's Brian Shearer back with another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. In this one, we're gonna talk about how to change the color of your lines. Hey, if you found these videos helpful, you can get more tips, tutorials, and access to my digital library of work by joining Patreon or my locals.com account. Okay, so one of the things that has to be the case for this to work is that your line art has right here, you can see this layer has to be on a different layer than the white background. So if I click on that, you'll see that there's a little checkered pattern. That means there's nothing there. It's just a transparent. That is the default setting if you just open up Clip Studio and start drawing. If you scan in an image, and so all this white and black is an actual scan of a physical piece of paper, this won't work. You'll have to do something else. I've got another tutorial on that that'll help you out there. All right, so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my line art layer, which is right here, and make a new layer on top of that. So it makes a new layer, and I'm gonna change one thing. I'm gonna go up to this little small square icon that says clip to layer below. I'll click that and you'll see a little red bar appears there. Now, what this does is anything that I draw on this layer that I just made, it's only going to show what I've drawn if there's something on the layer below it. And I'll show you what I mean here. So let's say I fill in this entire layer with, let's just pick orange. I'll get my paint bucket tool and click and it turns all the line art where that line art is orange, even though it's filled up the whole layer, you can see over here, it's only showing where there's line art. So this is really useful for changing the color of my line art, but leaving my line art intact. All right, so what are the applications of this? I can take my, let's just start over here. I can take a uh, whatever color, right? I can just draw through, I can do effects or whatever. But if you want to, so yeah, I've colored this entire thing and I want it to be a little, little less uh, line artish, more maybe painterly or soft, softer. I'm gonna maybe give a little stin skin tone and color in some of these lines here where I have indicated uh, lines on the face to soften everything up. And let's say I, uh, I've got an airbrush and I just wanna get some, some blue to soften up the hair. Maybe it could be light, right? I could get, you know, maybe there's light shining over here. Um, I could get a red and color in where the star is and so on and so on. So, but again, the nice thing about this is that when I hide that layer, my line art is still untouched. Uh, one quick tip about what to leave black. I would leave eyes black like I would just get the eraser and just erase anything because what it does is it'll really make those eyes pop and people typically look at a person's eyes first so I hope that helps let me know in the comments any other clip studio paint tutorials you'd like to see let me know if anything's not clear please like subscribe hit the bell for notifications and go watch another video before you head out thanks